Hi, this is Jamie Mayrich coming to you from my craft table. Today I'd like to show you how to make this card. It takes a lot of different pieces from different things, so let me go through and explain what we're going to need. Let me put this over here. Okay, so for consumables, you're going to need a piece of Whisper White. It's like a scrap piece to stamp some um, images on. We need a piece of Whisper White, which is two and a half by five and a fourth, and that's to do this background piece. We need a piece of Early Espresso, which is five and three eighths by four and one eighth. A card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. We need um, a couple scraps of vanilla, one to die cut um, this lace out of, and one to stamp and die cut the little uh, sentiment on here. Okay. We need a piece of the coastal cabana to die cut the little um, ribbon edge and the doily. We need a piece, okay, that's all the card stocks. All right, move these aside so we, all right. Then for the dies, or for the stamps and dies, there's quite a lot of them. So over here. Okay, for the dies, Four Seasons Framelits, um, that goes with the Painted Seasons. Um, the Painted Seasons is an option you can get free, and then starting on March 1st, you can purchase the Four Seasons Framelit dies to go with it. Um, this is a cele uh, celebration coordination item, and this is a celebration item. So we'll need those. We'll need the Dear Doily Bundle, Doily Builder Thinlets, and the Dear Doily Stamp Set. We will need the Delicate Lace Edgelets, and we're just going to be using this one lace edgelet out of it. Um, we're going to be neat using the Sentiment, this little tiny hello, out of a big thank you. Uh, we're going to be using a little tag out of the bouquet bunch framelits. And I forgot one. Let's see if I can grab it fast. The um, scalloped edge out of the Be Mind Stitch framelits. Okay, so I've, I think I've got everything out that I need. We're also going to need Petal Pink, Sahara Sand. Calypso Coral, Early Espresso, and Pear Pizzazz. So again, this is a card that's going to need a lot of su supplies. Um, you could probably create it with less of them. I just started playing and having fun and decided I wanted to share it with you. You're also going to need a small piece of linen thread and uh, about five or six dimensionals. Um, I only used that many because it held on all of my little pieces. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is take this scratch piece of vanilla and the little hello and the early espresso. And I'm going to stamp that. This is a photopolymer, so. Uh, don't press too hard because it'll squash it. Perfect. Okay. And I, that's all we need this ink for is for that sentiment. Okay, then we're going to take this little tag punch or a little tag die. We're going to cut that out. Center it up on there. Might be a little too close to the edge, but we'll see. Ok, 
Okay, my sandwich is my uh, standard platform, my thin die adapter, one plastic cutting plate, my paper, my die, and a second plastic cutting plate. Okay, so there's that. The die away. Okay, then we're going to take this lace edge and on this piece of very vanilla, we're going to run that through the big shot for the sake of time. I've already done that. Okay. And we'll stamp these pieces. On the Calypso Coral piece, we're going to take this lace doily one. And this, this edge one, we're going to put the edge one right towards the edge and tape it down with posted tape. And we'll run that through the big shot. And again, for the sake of time, I've already done that as well. Okay. Might as well adhere this early espresso piece to the front of my card base. I'm going to use Tombow glue for that. Maybe a little bit of a border around the edge. Not a lot of one, but just a little bit of one. I need a new blade in my cutter, so I'll toward the edge there a little bit. Alright. Put that aside. Put the glue aside for a minute. Dies over here out of the way so I don't lose them. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Okay. So now for this piece, we're going to take the flower from the uh, Painted Seasons and we're going to take the Calypso Coral ink. Well, this one I can't pop open for some reason. It doesn't want to open. Okay, and I'm going to ink it. Let's stamp that. Perfect. We just need one of those. We're done with this ink. Okay, then we're going to take the pear pizzazz ink and the leaf from that same painted seasons. We're going to stamp this one three times. Okay. Done with a pear ink. Now we're going to take the Sahara hand, a Sahara sand ink, and this little tiny leafy image from the uh, same stamp set. We're going to stamp that three times. Then we're going to take the dies that coordinate with it. Line them up. Pretty easy to line up. Use a little post-it tape.
and there's two of this large leaf and then there's three of these little leaves here so that works out well so we're going to line them all up I need one of these green leaves and I think I'm going to go ahead and punch this out I think because it came out better than my original one It's going to be in the way there. Let's see if I can get this one. I might be able to. Okay. Oops. It's too close, so I can't cut it at the same time. Just pushed my die away. Okay, let me run this through real fast. Eyes must be a little bit of magnetized from being on a magnetic sheet because they're sticking to each other, which they normally don't do. I like being attracted to each other. I only need one of them, so why am I taking so much time doing this? I don't know. Because I'm weird that way. Okay, let me run this through. I cut the little ones out prior, so I wouldn't have to take quite so long doing it. So that I have all my little pieces. It dies away. I'm using the original one. Okay, now, whoops, I need this piece. And we're going to take these two stamps. The pale pink is going to be for the larger one, and the Sahara sand for the smaller one. Stamp it. Just make a background. Oh, that didn't stamp too well. Make sure it gets inked well. Okay, now the little one. I'm going to go ahead and put one right over the top of that that didn't stamp. That looks good. Okay, so we're done with these. can assemble our card. We've got all the little pieces we need. Okay, so this is going to get adhered right here. Yep. I'm going to use Tombow Mono. Multi-glue. bit of a space, even space, on those three sides. And I'm going to take this lace piece and it's going to go here. It's going to need trimmed a tiny bit. So I'm going to take my snips, snip the side here. Figure out how long I want it on this side. Just that little bit.
Okay, we're going to glue this down. Be careful putting glue on this part because it oozes out on the other side. Then it's hard to get off. So if you just saw what I did, I just put a little bit of glue on and rubbed it with my finger to try and get it to spread so it wouldn't be oozing out. Okay, then this is going to get set down right here. Whoops, scooch down just a little this way, please. Whoop, too much. Still got glue underneath it because it moves so much, but that's all right. All right, now we're going to take this um, coastal cabana piece and we're going to lay that over the top of that. Probably should have made this a little bit shorter. That's all right, we'll make it work. This is going to need shortened as well. Trying to make it look straight because this piece is crooked. I'll snip it off. Okay. Now to decorate. This little doily piece is going to go on here. bunch of dimensionals on the back of this. Like I said, I used a lot of dimensionals because I used it to hold all the little ferns and leaves and stuff together. I just co coated the back with dimensionals. Okay, so then I'm going to lay it out the way I want it. Where did the rest of my little pieces go? There they are. There's one of them. I'm missing a leaf. Fumble fingers today. All right, so this is gonna go here like that. Put this one down here. This one I'll put up here. Where'd the other one go? Here it is. This one I'll put over here. Okay, now. Without moving the card, I'm going to pick up the flower. Try to, anyways. Take those backs off those dimensionals. Set it down. Now it's going to pick up the majority of these leaves. Perfect. I add a little bit of glue behind here.
You can do that with a sponge before I just... Okay, then I just need to do this that little sentiment piece. These pieces might need to be glued in because they don't get caught for very much. This piece isn't even glued in, so let's make sure everything's glued down. Okay, now the hello. I just took a little piece of linen thread, ran it through the hole. chirping in my house. Since our windstorm, I've got something that's making a horrible chirping sound when the furnace kicks on. One of my vents or something must be rattling. Okay, then I just put one little baby dimensional on the back of this. And tucked it in. Where do I want it? I think I want this one over here. Trim the bow a little bit. And there we go. There's our card. Well, thank you so much for joining me at my craft table. I hope you have a great rest of your day.